welcome to my first weekly vlog. Um, so today I decided I'm going to attempt this week to do a weekly vlog. See if you like it, see if you prefer it over my daily vlogs. I did a daily vlog yesterday. Um, so it'll be up on my channel already if you want to go check that out. Um, it was a very in-depth one and it was one where I was kind of like talking a lot about my anxiety, how it makes me feel, um, a little bit about like my history with bullying a little bit and stuff like that so if you want to check that out I'll leave it linked down below for you as well but yeah I'm gonna try my hand at the no I'm gonna try my hand at weekly vlogging so today is Monday I've been to work I've just come back from boot camp got changed put my jammers on and do you know what I'm not even feeling that hungry I think I'm gonna have some cereal and a nice cup of tea and then i think i'm gonna have an early night because i am tired but i got a parcel today that i want to show you it is the fifth at 20 to 8 <laughs> so yeah i've got a parcel to show you from feather and down so i'll show you that shortly i'm just gonna grab something to eat so this is what it looks like i haven't opened it yet so i don't actually know what's inside so let's open it up and have a look this is so beautifully wrapped see what this is feather and down sleep matters oh my god sleep matters so much so i think he's just telling you all of the different products that they have let's see what's inside Ooh. okay so we have which is like their cult cult product this is the feather and down sweet dreams pillow spray so it says 83 percent fell asleep quicker than usual that was in an independent study of 103 people over a four-week period um has calming lavender and chamomile essential oils i can smell like the scent from the box already like from the whole box <laughs> Um, so it says no parabens, no sulfates, no mineral oils. Spray a generous amount onto your pillow to relax as you drift into a peaceful sleep. Oh. Okay, doc. So this one is one that I actually read somebody else's um, blog post on, and and they got this and this, and I think they got the balm as well. Yeah, they did. Um, so. This is their melting shower cream with calming lavender and chamomile essential oils once again. And it says, cleanse your skin, clear your mind and let daytime stress wash away. This shower cream will melt into a calming oil when gently massaged into your skin, leaving it feeling beautifully soft and deeply nourished. It sounds so good that it melts from a cream into like an oil. I bet you come out in the bath feeling like a snake. <laughs> so smooth. <laughs> and then last but certainly not least, we have the all-purpose sleep balm once again with the lavender and chamomile oils in it. And this says massage into pulse points before bed to help relax you before sleep. So I'm going to try these straight away. Obviously not this one because I can't be having a shower. <laughs> I'm ready for bed, like already. <laughs> Um, and it's like 10 past 9, this is so early for me and I've been fighting it for a couple of hours as well. Um, oh, it won an award. Beauty Awards 2017 winner. Amazing. Okay, so let's spray some of this on my pillow. So my major concern with sprays like this is I recently tried one from Boots and I just couldn't stand the smell of it. It just was too overpowering, it just wasn't very nice. I do not like the smell of lavender. Um, so you're probably thinking, well, why did you agree to, to review this? I agreed to review this um, for a PR company because I don't like the smell of lavender. So I think if something if something doesn't smell like what I used to typically think lavender, or I typically think is lavender smells like, so like the really strong or the powering of a bear in lavender, if this is more soothing and, and it's a bit more fresh and lighter, then I thought I'd be a really, really good person to review it because if it's good, then it's going to be really good kind of thing. Um, and if it works, then you know that like it really does work because I'm willing to put up with a smell that I'm not that fond of. So let's see. I can't even... I can't even... I'm just like open it with my armpit <laughs> so I can smell it. So far, like the smell isn't like bad like I can't say anything bad um but let's have a smell oh my god it smells mint oh 
Oh my god, I'm gonna love this, aren't I? I really wish that I got the candle. They have like a candle, um, and I really wish that I got the candle because I feel like that would have been really, really nice and relaxing. So let's see what else they do and how much these products cost. Let's have a little flick in this little magazine. Okay, so the melting shower gel is six pounds, which isn't actually bad. Um, because I feel like it's not gonna be it's not gonna be like a shower gel that you're gonna use every single day. Oh, I just did arm day and it's hurting to hold the camera. <laughs> Um, I feel like it's not going to be a shower gel that you're going to use every single day. Um, so I feel like £6 isn't bad. And considering like I pay like £6 or like £5.50 or something for my Southern Glory one, it's not bad at all. Um, it's a really good price point for like what it does as well. They also have a bath essence, which um, I'm not the biggest fan of baths. But if I wanted to relax, I'd probably have a bath. So um, I understand why they do that. The fragrance spray, like the pillow spray is seven pound which is a really good price um the boots one was six pound and that was a boots own brand um so seven pound for like a branded one is really really good and that's 100 milliliters oh they have a body oil nice and um, the sleep balm that you massage onto your pressure point is seven pound and they also have a sleep butter that sounds really good that's eight pound it has sleep salts to put into your bath which is eight pound as well and the candle is the calming candle. Um, it says, as the candle starts to burn, essential oils will release the most calming fragrance and fill your home with complete serenity. And um, the perfect addition to your bedtime bath. That's £18. Um, because of the calm properties and like the good properties in it, um, £18 is like a good price point. Um, I feel like maybe £12 would be a bit better. But I am a bit stingy when it comes to candles, so that could just be, sorry my arm is really hurting, um, that could just be me being stingy when it comes to paying the price for candles because like, it's a candle. But then this is a candle that's going to help me relax and it would be like my treat candle, if that makes sense. So like if it worked then, then like it's worth the money, do you know what I mean? They also have a relaxing reed diffuser as well that you can pop in your bedroom or wherever you want to put it. Um, oh, this is cute. So we have like a little gift that looks like this. Um, and this comes with a 50 milliliter pillow spray. So that's half the size of the original. Um, a 50 milliliter shower cream, which is, um, so that's like 250. So it is a fifth of the size of that. Quick maths. <laughs> um, and then it has a full size version of the sleep balm. Um, and a 50 milliliter version of the sleep butter and that's only 12 pound so that's really good if you just wanted you know, like, to try it out and just see what what was what and then they also have this one which is a more a little bit more expensive one not really though it's like this one's 15 pound you get the 50 milliliter pillow spray the 50 milliliter shower cream the full size sleep balm and then it comes with a feather and down eye mask I'd probably say go for the other one because you don't get the pretty bag and the pretty eye mask but you get more products in that one if you wanted to try out their full range. Are you buzzing? Okay. Yeah? Should we could say I can't take no more because then my pockets would be round here. So yeah, um I'm gonna end today's vlog here because if I keep talking this much every single day then it's gonna be a very long weekly vlog. So See you tomorrow. It is Tuesday. Hello. So, um, I've been to work as always. Just seeing what's cracking on my phone. Um, it's Tuesday. Um, so I've been to work as as always. <laughs> it's been such a weird day at work because, um, oh, you can see all the pile up of my dressing gown on the bed over here. Um, but I've got three parcels that I'm going to share with you. Ah, so excited! I'm actually not sure what's in two of them. Oh, I know what this is. This is a memory card. Now I've just clicked on. Um, and I have a parcel from Tarte. And then this parcel, which is wrapped up very, very strange. Um, I believe could be sheets for my mattress because my mattress is a funny size. So yeah, let's open some parcels and see what's inside. <laughs>
So my bed sheet had came, but they've only sent me one, and I have two mattresses on my bed, so... Yeah, I've contacted them to see whether they send me another one out separately or what's kind of happening. Um, so this is what I got in my tar order. So I finally got um, shape tape and I got this little parcel here. So you get the, I think this is the Manita mascara. Oh no, Tartus. I haven't got my glasses on, sorry. <laughs> the Tartus mascara. This is, let me put my gigs on. This is the um, Pro Glow To Go kit so you get the chisel burst and gleam um trio so obviously that's two for your cheekbones and then obviously two highlighters i have swatched them on my hand but you can't really see them that much um but gleam actually looks like the one that i probably would wear because burst is quite yellow and you also get a mini tartist lip paint as well so these two cost me 30 pounds i had free shipping i can't remember what else i had i think it was Free shipping, oh, free shipping and buy one, get one half price. So I got these for £30. If I bought, that's the brown on my hand there and a swatch of the lipstick as well. But if I bought just the concealer, which comes with a sponge on QVC, then that would be £28 and then postage and packaging on top of that as well. So absolute bargain. And then in the little white, oop, and the little white parcel that was on the top, is um my memory card so this is a 64 gigabyte one um so yeah that is everything it is wednesday w -w -w wednesday Woo i'm home from work my hair is already being strapped back up um i have had quite like a nice day at work today actually i've got my nice top on with my little for Larry sleeves. Um, but I have a parcel from Sparkle PR that I thought I would I would show you. Um, so they got in touch with me. Um, the lovely Emma got in touch with me, wanting to send me some shampoo and conditioner to try out. Um, so there was two different options, and I looked at what each one of them like claimed to do, and I thought, okay, I'll go for the one. That's going to suit my hair better. Both of them sounded like they'd be really good for my hair, but um, I've been struggling a lot with my hair recently for it being static and frizzy. When you touch it, it's like, pew, like this, like, oh, it's just doing my head in. So I thought I'd go for the Sheer Moisture Argan Oil and Almond Milk Smooth and Contain Shampoo and Conditioner. So this is the conditioner. It has marshmallow root extract in it. Um, it says soften and detangle fine, frizzy, straight and wavy hair, which I feel like that is kind of like what I'm kind of living with at the moment. So that's the conditioner and this one is the shampoo. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this. Sulfate free and colour safe as well. I like the fact that it's a colour safe on it because obviously I um, have blonde highlight and I'm getting my hair done on Saturday this week, I believe. I believe it's Saturday this week so um I want to make sure like I'm not rinsing out <laughs> all the money that I've just spent getting my hair highlighted so let's see what it says in the back so it says it has argan oil in it which is liquid gold and it helps to tame frizz it improves manageability and adds healthy shine it has almond milk which is rich in protein and also has hydrating vitamins A and E it smooths frizz prone hair for lasting sleekness which is what I need because my hair is not saying sleek at all and then it has the marshmallow root extract which really like I don't know the fact that it has like marshmallow root extract made me want to get it even more um it's for detangling hair and it creates a weightless anti-humidity coating which I don't know whether my static staticness of my hair is from humidity or whatever I don't know what what's I don't know what's happening with my hair but I'm not enjoying it. Um, I'm at boot camp tonight. I was meant to be going at 6.15 but Laura's stuck in traffic in Newcastle. Um, so it is currently 6.15 right now but we are going, um, we're going to the quarter past seven one instead. So I just quickly had some like jam and toast just to have like something in me. And I'm just having a cup of tea. I'm gonna head there soon. 
I'm actually really enjoying um, doing this kind of weekly vlog and just do like little snippets on a night when I get in from work. I'm always late for work, like I'm always running late for work so I never really vlog on the morning because I just don't have time. I'd rather prioritise my sleep. Um, I tried the new tap stuff this morning actually. So the set that I showed you, I tried that out today. So I tried out the highlighter and I went for the top one, which is what I said that I probably would go for, which is Galeem. So I went for this one here. Um, I didn't try the mascara because I didn't think that I had time to put mascara on, but then I ended up putting it on anyway. So this is just um, Benefits Bad Gal Bang. What else did I put on? Oh, I put on the liquid lipstick. That's completely gone now. That went when I had my jacket potato for dinner. Um, what else did I try? Oh, I tried the concealer. How could I forget that? I tried the concealer and it is so different to the Makeup Revolution one um, in so many different ways. So, and has some similar similarities too. Would you like me to do a video comparing the two? Bear in mind that I have bought both of them. Um, so... I'm not getting paid to make that kind of video, so you know what I mean? Take that as what you will kind of thing. So yeah, let me know what you want me to do. Um, I did like a poll last night, was it last night or the night before? I think it was last, I think it was yes. Oh, it was yesterday, asking what people preferred, if they preferred weekly vlogs or daily vlogs. Don't get me wrong, people did vote for daily too, but the majority of people have voted for weekly. And um, so that's what obviously I was doing anyway this week about knowing that you were going to vote for that. So I'm going to see how this one goes, see what you prefer, and then I might branch out. But I'm enjoying it so far because it's making me be productive on a night time when I'm getting in from work. Um, because it's like, well, what are you doing? Like, you must be doing something. Like, so you've got all this spare time after work <laughs> kind of thing. So yeah, I'm going to get changed into my gym gear. Um, head to boot camp. Apparently it's cardio tonight. So I'm not looking forward to that in the slightest. I do not do well with cardio um which is why i made sure that i had some like jam and toast because otherwise i'll just feel sick and dizzy from overdoing myself um, and not enough food in my body um i think you know what, actually i'm gonna have like a, a bar as well i think i have like a chocolate bar not like a chocolate bar like a it's like a right there let me find it let me find it here it is it's a special K biscuit moment. It's a chocolate one. I don't actually know what's in this. So it's 96 calories for the bar. Um, isn't that bad? I mean, the carbs are like 18 grams and 6.8 of that is what sugar is. And it's only got 2.3 grams of fat in it and it's only got one gram of saturated fat. So it's not the best thing ever, but it's not the worst thing ever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have that before I go as well. And I always like to drink a full bottle of water. Um, so like a full one of these before I start boot camp because I find that makes such a big difference because I was feeling so sick when I was actually there. Like I, there's so many times that I've actually vomed in my mouth at boot camp and swallowed it again. Like how disgusting is that? Yeah, so. TMI for you again. Woohoo! So yeah, I will see you probably tomorrow and it'll probably be a very short and simple one tomorrow because I'm going to Blake's house on a Thursday, which isn't normally what I do, but we are doing it because the weather's bad, so Blake's free. He hasn't got plans, so yeah. I keep doing this. I think this is going to be like a new vlog thing, like... <laughs> Good morning, so it's Thursday morning and I'm going to try out this shampoo that I got sent to me yesterday because my hair really needs washing, especially after boot camp yesterday. And um, we didn't end up going this morning because um, Laura can't go, so, and I've already made plans to see Blake tonight, so we can't go tonight either. So I'm going to try this out and do my hair nice and pretty to see Blake tonight. And for work really, but mainly for Blake. So today is Friday and I just wanted to end this vlog and just say I hope you enjoy this week's vlog. Let me know if you did, um, if you want me to do them more often. I'm thinking about maybe uploading it on a Friday because I never want to film a weekend. I've got enough. Or maybe not on a Friday. I don't know. I don't know what day to upload it. But um, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Today I've just been at work. Um, I've been to boot camp and I'm just about to go in the shower and wash my hair because I'm getting my hair done in the morning. So yeah, I'm going to end it today 
and have the weekend off because tomorrow I'm getting my hair done and then going into town to buy my mum's Mother's Day presents and then on Sunday it's Mother's Day so it is a fun day, like I'm going to an event and stuff so I will be vlogging but it'll be a separate vlog where I'm just vlogging that one day if that makes sense. Okay, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know if you enjoyed this or if you prefer daily ones or if you want a mixture, please do let me know and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, <laughs>